We had our hands full yesterday, and the 16th of the, uh, the 16th anniversary of the 9/11 uh, because of Irma. But we do remember, and we do recall. And as Adam Cellini reports, we still have unanswered questions about the Sarasota connection to the September 11th attacks. Great to meet everybody. On September 11th, 2001, President George Bush infamously took this phone call in a classroom at Sarasota's Emma E. Booker Elementary, informing him America was under attack. Nearby FBI Special Agent Leo Martinez was taking calls too about suspicious activity on the Sun Coast. There were hundreds. I would, and I'm talking about Sarasota specific to Sarasota. There were hundreds of leads. Martinez retired from the FBI in 2013 after nearly 20. Six years and still works in the area as a private investigator with the Executive Assessment Group. He and others spent months investigating 9 11 locally, thanks to one lead that came in almost the same day the towers fell. The most important call probably came around midnight of September 11th when I got a call from Washington, D.C., and said they wanted to direct. Uh, us over to Huffman Aviation in Venice. Huffman Aviation is where three hijackers, including the pilot of the first plane to hit, learned to fly. But one lead, which Martinez was never assigned, was their connection to a Saudi family in Sarasota's Prestancia community. Abdulazi Alhiji and his wife left their home and personal belongings just days before the attack. Very short time, maybe three days after she had given birth. They were gone. A fellow FBI agent found many connections between the family and the 9 11 hijackers. Stated in a report uncovered in a 2012 Freedom of Information Act lawsuit by the South Florida news organization Florida Bulldog. The heavily redacted 35 page report is still all we know about what the FBI found there. We're trying to open up more documentation. So we can see for ourselves what happened here. Today, the Florida Bulldog is in two more lawsuits against the FBI. In July, U.S. District Court Judge Cecilia Altanaga demanded the Bureau release more details from a 2014 presentation to the 9-11 Review Commission. But anything involving Sarasota remains under wraps. Judge Williams Locke has been harder on the FBI, making the Tampa office turn over 80,000 pages of classified documents. Locke has spent the last three years reviewing those documents documents which could fill in the blanks about what was found in Prestancia. Judge Locke was, was critical uh, of the FBI, uh, so we have faith that he's doing what he's, you know, you know, what he's supposed to be doing and reviewing these all in good faith with an eye towards deciding what can be released. People like former Florida governor and U.S. Senator Bob Graham believe the case would show Saudi Arabia secretly aided this terrorist plot. But Martinez doesn't believe it's a reason his former employer would hide this information. Martinez did have a brush with the case two years after 9-11 when a terrorism suspect wished to trade information on the hijackers for a lighter sentence. He provided some information relative to some Sarasota uh, Prestantia activities. It was more about other about the hijackers. He passed it along to his superiors and it never again crossed his desk. Perhaps it's among those 80,000 pages of documents that some hope can close the book on the Sun Coast's sordid legacy with 9-11. In Sarasota, Adam Cellini, ABC7, your Sun Coast News.